Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily Jones. I'm a former paparazzi consultant and right now I just speak out against the company and what they do. So today we are going to uh, take a look at an Empire Diamond seller. Uh, this is Jamie Warren. So um, the story I shared in my live uh, during the weekend was from one of her customers, one of her very, very devoted customers. And so I've been looking into what she has going on, and I found this video on her Facebook page. Um, first off, I'm just going to point out Empire Diamond Cellar with bins and walls and racks of jewelry behind her. She has a lot of stuff, okay? So she buys, and I've watched her, she sells. But there's, there's a lot of inventory in that room with her, okay? So I'm going to keep it muted because the song could be copyright striked. But there's one March Life of the Party piece. Ooh, ah. And she does do a good job. Isn't that fabulous? It looks like something a kid would wear. They aren't that exclusive. I saw something like that on Timu last night when uh, Savvy B. Smart and I were going down the Timu rabbit hole. Yeah, that's what we call it. We get caught up looking at everything. Oh, look, it's bomb. It's a champagne gold ring. Ooh, ah. And then let's see what else she has going on with this life of the crappy. It, it just looks too big, and I'm sorry. I wouldn't want to wear that. It doesn't make me feel gorgeous. I just think it looks gaudy and awful. But this is... She's entertaining to watch. I'm not going to... Um, I'm not going to deny the fact that I have found her very entertaining. Okay? She is very, very entertaining. Now, I'm going to show this Empire Diamond. Empire Diamond, you know, it's quite a bit of jewelry. This is a behind the curtain video that I've watched. Okay, I'm gonna make this full screen. I want to take you guys inside Sparkle Seeds office behind the scenes so you can see how we pack your orders, exactly what we do. All right, look, take a good hard look. look. David's gonna come and take look a look. Specialized. Yes, look with your specialized. She has. Holy crap! Yes. Is that her house, or does she actually have a, a... Apparently, she has a storefront that she's never opened. This is her bling room, and it's either above or below oh her God. condo. But all of this behind her is all the wooden jewelry that I had that never sold. And then she's got bins and racks, and oh, yeah, yeah. it's a lot. But this, she's an Empire Diamond seller. Empire Diamond, she paid for that ring. She's also an elite, but she's also an Empire Diamond. She would have to sold, have to have sold, right, like that much, <laughs> pretty much almost that much just to have broken even. So Empire Diamond, you have to have 150,000 PV, or 300 PV, 150,000 pieces in one calendar year. I got to wonder how many 150,000 pieces has she been sitting on for more than one calendar year? Well, she's definitely sitting on a lot there. Yeah, she's, this is in 2020, but we saw the, the video from the life of the party. She's still sitting on a ton. So let's take a look and see what she has to say about her shipping and packing process. And see some of our amazing, amazing team over here that works super hard for y'all on your behalf. And they take yeah. a lot of pride in what they do. And I'm going to show y'all exactly how the system works and our new airproof shipping as well. So let's go. Okay, here we go. So these are already ready to go out today. It is our big shipping day here. We've got Miss Kelly. Say hey. And Jennifer right here. Hey, hey. And then we come back here. I'm going to show you all how it works. There's Aggie dressing bus for Sunday night. Hey, Aggie. So she has someone dressing bus for her live shows. She has, I, I, I lost count, but she has employees. She's doing so much volume that yeah. she has employees, no. plural. Does she have multiple people going live? Because no. think of, think of it like this, like it was a grocery store, but she's the only, uh, 
checker. Paparazzi jewelry She's checker. She's the only checker. She can only sell so much jewelry herself at once. But, yeah, look at this. Hold on, let me escape out of this. So, so she has a website. She has, on average, 218 people watching her lives. Okay. Even if all of those people... And she like, goes live... It looks like she goes live a few times a day. Because yeah. she has a 1 p.m. live, a 4 p.m. live, and a 7 p.m. live. Um, but you look at her live sales and she keeps them up. But she's showing old stuff. And then she has her website where you can shop. And I've looked at how much she has in her website... Yeah. She has over if I if I do the math and I don't know how many of each piece she has, but my guess is she has well over five hundred thousand pieces of jewelry in that room. Honestly, like it doesn't it doesn't add up. If she's the only checker, you know, she's the only one going live. She couldn't be moving that much volume. Or you you might say, well, she's doing it on her website. But here's the thing: if she was doing that well on her website, why the fuck would she go live? Like, just for shits and giggles? Like, if she's selling thousands a day on her website, why would she bother going live twice a day? She's probably selling more going live, because otherwise, why should we? She, why would she do it? And the fact that she's the only one going live, unless she's hired five other people to go live, she can only move so much product. Well, like, I, like that story I shared with you in the car the other day, Marissa... Marissa ended up, ended up spending like three to five hundred dollars a month watching her live shows. Oh, I'm sure she probably has some fans that spend way too much, but still, like, that's like a blockbuster full of jewelry. She cannot be pushing that much jewelry. I know. When she's the only one going live. Yeah, she's she's the only blockbuster in town. Unfortunately, she's not. But shop with Empire Diamond seller Jamie War. We offer five dollars flat rate shipping on any size order. Must be checked out by midnight every Thursday night. So she puts her her foot down. You have to pay her invoice by Thursday night. But then she has the whole work with Jamie. But we're going back to this since David came out and started talking. All right, so let's go back to this. Hey. Chandler is packing right now, but we actually have two packing tables here. So we have a cool system. Here is Alyssa. Y'all check out our system. There's Miss Alyssa. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> this is our new airproof shipping. Y'all check this out. How cool is this? And I'll scroll up. So let me see if we can scroll up. So as we scan, this is actually a bigger order going out. But as we scan, they turn green. This is how we have airproof shipping. Now, this is our new thing. We absolutely love it. And if there's a wrong piece here or it's not in the system, it will beep and buzz at us so we know that that one is incorrect. So this is exactly how we do it. As we pull the orders, they go here. Alyssa pulls them over here. We've got prize winners over here. She scans them all in and then passes it this way and it just usually there'll be another person here in just a few minutes and then we just must be away. having a break and that is what we do you guys are awesome thanks for watching we'll see you next time it just blows my mind how much how much uh she has going on there okay she has a lot going on in that room and then on her on her personal website she has her customers do the hashtag wear it Wednesday and then they're wearing their Courtney Z collection piece and then here's a live and of course she uses comment sold okay and she's showing things off this one's from February 22nd so it's fairly old all right so she says want to earn free jewelry every purchase you make is tracked uh, she honors the buy 12 get the 13th piece free and uh, sign up here with her loyalty through her app. Please do not share to groups. So she doesn't want her stuff shared. So if you want to know about her, you have to download her app. But one thing I like about her is that she doesn't have the join my team on her lives. And with the lives I've, sh I've seen, <laughs> It's quite hilarious. Um, she's very entertaining, and I will give her that. But look at who she's friends with here. Emily Brinson, Noelle Mason, Monica Denise Cox, Summer Bates, Alyssa Levia, 
Andrea Hutchinson, Carla Neal Pierce, and there's Robin Wright Frank. So, she's friends with all those other elites. Here's another person, Lavender Bling. It's a rose gold. These people are really good about showing off the bling they buy. There she is. I believe this was during her Dominican Republic trip. I don't know. But, um... Big giveaway tonight, Sunday, December 4th. She has a lot going on, and I, you know, she's, she's actually successful in this business. Because this live that I've been watching, and we'll just let it go, um, I didn't see a lot of join my team talk. I didn't see a lot of opportunity talk. Her focus is selling the jewelry. And you can tell that that is her focus. And she does really good business focusing on selling the jewelry. Now, every once in a while, uh, someone will ask her, how can I do what you do? Here's the deal, you guys. Unless you have the systems in place and you have the money to purchase comments sold. I mean, even though you get the, the app, the uh, comments sold app, or you get the paparazzi premiere app where people can claim to buy during the, the premiere app, which will go back to a premiere training this week, I promise. Um, it's, you know, it's interesting how she just goes crazy selling. But I'm going to also point out, she's selling stuff that's old. She's mixing old in with the new. Because I'm going down, so she's showing all the new stuff. There's the, you know, other stuff. But as you scroll down... And she, she shows a lot of pieces during her lives. Okay, so we're going to go down to the very end. She shows Z collection pieces, Z bracelets. Um, I don't know when that policy changed, but I thought Z, piece, Z bracelets weren't allowed to be sold. She's wearing those during her life of the party life. Uh, that's not new. That's not new. That's not new. But yeah, ear crawlers, bubble burst, that's a really old piece. Rosy wrap up. I mean, she is definitely mixing the old in with the new. And it's, here's Catwalk Queen. That's something you can get on uh, Timu for like two something. Um, I'm looking at, those linked and synced blacked are so stupid. Power to the people. That's not new. I had that when I was a consultant. But it's it's really, she does focus on selling the jewelry. And she brings old in and mixes it with the new. That's an old ring. I remember when I had that in my store. It was a hostess reward. So exciting. But yeah, Jamie Warren is probably one of the most legitimate sellers I have seen in paparazzi. She focuses on selling the product. Let's see what she's talking about right now. Our app is also Sparkle Seeds. One word. Your, your phone might try and break it into two like an autocorrect, but it won't find us if it's two words. It has to be one. And if you want to stay shopping on Facebook and it's your first time, just type the word register right in the comments. Oh, nice, Pam. Type the word register in the comments, and then that's going to prompt our system to immediately send you. Um, I got the wrong window open. It'll immediately send you like um, like a confirmation. It'll say, click here to confirm your account. You do have to confirm your account. So it looks like the people that shop with her, because I'm looking at some of the comments, okay? Um, people are talking about their day with each other. They're talking about their doctor's appointments. She has a community, a community of shoppers, okay? So um, that's quite interesting. So everyone's talking about their weddings, their doctor's appointments, their migraine headaches, and she's telling you how to download her app and shop with her, okay? And you have to share the word party to be entered into a drawing or something. But yeah, she's, she's uh, play close attention to your carts. All pieces do expire 24 hours after they are claimed. So yeah, if you want to keep what you have, you have to pay for it right away. 
to join into the conversation and, and see the amazing functionality of the app, it looks identical to your screen. It looks no different, except you don't type words and numbers. You hit the bubble with the jewelry. Um, and it also has a button at the bottom where you can go backwards if you miss a piece. Like say you had to run and tuck the kids in bed. And this is how um, a lot of consultants, not consultants, customers uh, get on a, a claim frenzy. They see the piece, they click the bubble. See the piece, they click the bubble. And by the end of the live, they don't realize how many pieces they've claimed until they go to their cart. That's kind of deceiving in a way. And I don't like comments sold for this very reason. You see a piece, you click a bubble. You see a piece, you click a bubble. But she is legit, in my opinion. Okay? I you know I've watched three of her live shows she doesn't make income claims she doesn't talk about the opportunity she focuses on getting people to download her app share the jewelry share the live and buy that's what she does that is her focus selling the jewelry I just I feel bad because she has a lot in her little warehouse and it's unrealized profits and dead money and I'm pretty sure she keeps buying every single day, which is also very sad, okay? But this, neither here nor there. Um, it just makes me sad, to say the least. So, Jamie, uh, thank you for being a legitimate seller. I wish you did more training on your YouTube channel to show people how to emulate you more. Because uh, by watching you, I've learned a lot. Um, that I wish I knew you existed when I was a paparazzi consultant because I would have copied you. I would have copied you. But um, I didn't know who you were or how you existed. So I'm kind of sad about that because I could have taken what you do and emulated it and, and done my own thing. But Jamie, um, I'm glad that you have a staff and that you are paying them and I hope you are paying them fairly. And um, I'm glad that you are doing such a rock and roll business. Um, so good for that. But also, Jamie, um, as I speak to you, please be mindful of the women who are buying things on your live. If, um, if they are on a budget or a disability or, you know, you think they're buying too much, I know you're never going to say anything. But the moral thing to do is maybe say, I'm sorry, um... I need to cut you off because it looks like you have an addiction, but I know you're not going to do that. But, yeah, there's a few people that go claim happy in your live shows, and I worry about them because I think they have an addiction as well. And, you know, good for you for getting them their crack every day. So, anyway, I'm going to leave this here. Thank you so much for, like, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. My March goal is to reach 1,000 subscribers. So feel free to uh, subscribe if you haven't. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. Share, my, share one of your favorite videos with someone you think might enjoy it. And thank you for allowing me to pump out content, do reaction, and give my opinion and commentary on all things paparazzi. And have a wonderful rest of your day.